Now to look at a different case. We're going to have this cache with the same size and number of address bits, and the block size is going to remain at 32 bytes. But now we're going to change it from a direct map cache to a set associative cache. Since we haven't changed the block size, the number of offset bits is going to remain the same. So we're going to have five offset bits like we did previously. For the number of sets, we have to take into account that we now have a two-way set associative cache. So the number of sets is going to be both the total capacity of the cache divided by the size and individual entry, also divided by the number of ways that we have in a set. And if we do this, we find that we are going to have two sets. And then this would lead us to a fact that we're going to have log base 2 of 2 or 1 index or set bits. And then finally, for the number of tag bits, this is everything that remains. So this would be 12 minus 5 minus 1. And this would give us 6 tag bits. We now want to look at what our cache looks like in this configuration. Since there are only two sets, our model only shows two rows. Since this has two ways, this means each row needs to have two ways, and so each entry has two ways along with the tag bits for each way. And we're also showing a column that's showing which of the two ways was least recently used, so we know what way to replace if we need to at some point. And we're going to look at the same set of axes as we had in the first case. And we're going to look at again for the first time through and a second time through this series of addresses. So looking at this for the first address, we're going to set one since we haven't done anything yet. We certainly don't have it in here. So we're going to set way zero to one and we're going to put tag one in way zero. And we're going to say that the least recently used way is now one since we just recently accessed way zero. For the Next address, we're going to set zero. We don't have this yet, so we're going to fill in that we're valid and we're filling in with tag one zero and we're setting the least recently used to one. For the next access, we're going to set one and we're looking for tag one. And we find that, oh, and I should say that the first two of these were misses. For this third address, we're looking for tag one. We find that tag one is already in our cache and it's valid. So we're going to say that this is a hit. The next axis is going to set zero and looking for tag one, one, zero. It's not currently in either of the two ways in set zero. And we're going to then go replace what is the least recently used way in this set. So our least recently used bit is saying that set one is least recently used. So we will make this valid and we will fill it in with 110 and then we will update our least recently used bit to zero since that is the way that was least recently accessed and so this will be a miss as well going to our next address we see that we're looking for tag 10 and if we look in the two ways in set zero we find that tag 10 is indeed in way zero so this would be a hit and we would want to update our least recently used since we just accessed way zero, our least recently used is going to be one. Going to our next address, we're looking at set one and we're looking for tag 101. And we look at set one and we see we don't have 101 anywhere, so we need to put it into the cache and we're going to put it into the least recently used way, which is way one based off of our least recently used bits. And we're going to update our least recently used bit to zero. And we're also going to say that this access was a miss. For our next address, we're looking for set zero. And we're looking for tag one zero. We go over to set zero and we see that tag one zero is indeed in our cache. So this is a hit. And we could also consider updating our least recently used bit. But it's already saying that way one was least recently used. And that would be the same for this access or after this access. Going to the next address, we're looking for tag 111100 in set 0. We go look in set 0. We don't have that tag. So this would be a miss. And we need to replace some entry in the cache. Our least recently used bit is saying we're going to replace way one. So we're going to fill this in with one, 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 zero, zero. 
and we're going to update our least recently used bit to be way zero. And then finally, our last access is going to set one and is looking for tag one. And when we go over to set one, we see that tag one is indeed already in our cache. And so we will have a hit. The second time through this, we're going to start by looking at set one again. And so we go to set one and we're interested if tag one is in place. And so we can see in this case, the tag one is in place. So this would be a hit. And we want to update the fact that for set one, since we just accessed way zero, we're going to want to update our least recently used to one. Now looking at the second address, we're looking at set zero and we're looking for tag one zero. We see that tag one zero is indeed in the cache in way zero. So this is going to be a hit and we're going to update our least recently used bit to be one since we just accessed way zero. Now we're going to look for set one and tag one. We see that set one already has tag one. And so like the first time, this is going to be a hit. For the next access, we're looking at set zero and we're looking for one, one, zero. This isn't in the cache, so this is going to be a miss. And so we're gonna to need to replace something and our LRU bit says we're gonna replace way one. So we're gonna replace this entry and we're going to fill it in with 110 and we're going to update our LRU bit to point to way zero. Our next access is looking at set zero and is looking for tag one zero. This is in the cache so it's going to be a hit and we're going to want to update our least recently used bit to say that we just accessed way zero so our least recently used way is way one. The next axis is looking at set one and is looking for tag 101, which is in our cache. So this is a hit. And to be complete, we would update our least recently used to be zero. The next axis is looking at set zero and is looking for tag 10, which is in our cache. So this is a hit. And we already have the least recently used bit set up correctly. The next axis is looking at set zero and is looking for this long tag. It's not in the cache, so this would be a miss. We'd look at the least recently used bit and say that we're gonna replace way one and we're gonna fill it in with one, 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 zero. And we'd update our least recently used to point to way zero. And then finally for the last access, we're looking at set one and we're looking for tag one that is in the cache, so that's a hit. And we would also update our least recently used to point to way one since we just accessed way zero. And so to look at the hit rate for these two different iterations, so the first time hit rate, we could look at this and see that we hit four of the nine times. So we'd have a hit rate of 44%. And then the second time through, if we look, we'd see we'd have a hit rate where we hit all but two of the times, so seven of the nine times or 77%. And so we've improved our hit rate here the second time through. And if you compare this to the direct map cache, we've also improved the hit rate for both of these cases. Now we will consider a case where we have a two-way set associative cache, but instead of 32 byte blocks, we will have 16 byte blocks. So for this, we need to reconsider how many offsets, set, and tag bits we need. So for the number of offset bits, we're going to need the log base two of 16, which is going to say that we need four bits for this. For the number of sets, we're going to have the total capacity divided by the size of a block, divided by the number of sets, which is going to give us that we have four sets, and then this leads us that we would need the log base two of four equal to two index or set bits. And then finally, for the number of tag bits, everything that left is left over is for the tag. And so with 12 total bits, we'd have 12 minus four minus two, giving us six tag bits. And so with this configuration, we're now going to have two ways in our cache, but we found that we have four sets. And so we're going to show four sets in our example, and we're going to look at this sequence of addresses, and they're already broken up into the different, uh, the different tag index and offset bits. And so we're going to look at how this happens, both the first iteration and the second iteration through. 
So the first iteration through, the first axis is going to look at set 1, 1. There's nothing in there, so we're going to fill in one of these. So we're going to put tag 1 into this zero with way, and we're going to say that the least recently used way was 1, and so this will be a miss the first time through. For the next axis, we're looking at set 0. There's nothing in there, so that's going to be a miss as well. And so we'll choose the way 0, we'll fill in tag 1, 0, we'll say that's valid, and we'll set the least recently used to 1. For the next axis, we're looking at set 1, 0. There's also nothing in there, so that will be a miss, and we'll fill in an entry with its tag of 1. The next axis is going to set 1. There's nothing in there, so that's a miss, and we'll fill in its tag of 1, 1, 0. The next entry is going to set 0. There is something in set 0, and it happens that the tag of 1, 0 matches what is in the valid way 0, so this will be a hit. The next access is going to set 3, and it's looking for tag 1, 0, 1, and while there is one thing in set 3, it doesn't match the tag, so that means we're going to have a miss, and we're going to put this into the least recently used way, which would be way 1. We'll set that to valid, and we'll update our least recently used bit to 0. For the next access, we're looking at set 0. Going to set 0, we see that it's looking for tag 1, 0, and that's in the cache already, so we'd have a hit. The next access is also going to set 0, but it's looking for a different tag. That tag isn't present, so we'd have a miss and we'd update our tag for the entry we've just added, and we could update our least recently used to zero. And then for the last access, we're looking for set one zero, and we're looking for tag one, and that is in place. So we'd have a hit for this access, and this would take care of the first time through. And then for the second time through, while we could go through each of these individually, you'll notice that we never had to remove anything from our cache the first time through. So we have all of the blocks that we need because we never had to replace anything. And so we'd find that we're actually going to have hits the entire time that we go through this. The least recently used bits for set 0 and 1 would change, but they, all the accesses would be hits. And so looking at this for the first time hit rates, we'd see that we see that three of the nine accesses hit, and so we'd have a hit rate of 33%. And then for the second time, all of the accesses hit, and so we have a 100% hit rate.